Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome once again to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, I really feel compelled to do this video because I always said uh, Donald Trump is not the cause of all this mayhem. All this stuff has been festering inside of a lot of white people for a long time. And Donald Trump just gave them the freedom to express how pent up anger and madness they had inside of them. Um, not being able to exercise their privilege, the more and more the world turns brown and black. Okay? And it really scares them and it frightens them that a lot of their privileges are challenged now. Uh, is we've gone from a world where they could do whatever the hell they want to do, thinking they're better than everybody else, and everybody else has to get in line and, line and bow down to them, into a world that reality and the cover has been pulled off, just like the narcissists. In, in fact, I I um say to my um, white listeners, especially um, those who you know have sent me you know, negative uh, responses. Am I talking about the ones that get it? I'm talking about the ones who have sent me negative responses. It's really a challenge to your psyche, and I realize that to understand, the, um, I mean, to really have been believing something for a long time and then have to have the, I guess, the un... Uh, the un... Characteristic way of now res being responded to. You, this is not characteristic of America, and so it's kind of hard because you kind of feel a little outplaced. So, what's happening here, in my humble opinion, is that a lot of people are coming um, into the knowledge that they've been lied to, and that white supremacy is a hoax. It's a hoax. It's white. I mean, it's it's fake news. You're no better than anybody else. And the way you've been able to perpetuate that craziness for so long is because you've had a government that sanctioned you beating up, murdering, and uh, perpetuating treasonous acts against Americans, specifically black people. Oh, you did it to the Italians and the uh, Japanese, but still. You, and the Native American, but you have conjured up a world where you really have thinking that you're better than everybody else. The world uh, dictates to uh, your beat. You put the Native American on reservation so they couldn't uh, speak their truths. And now you're in a position where the pimple and got a white head on it and it's got to be busted. Or a black head, whichever one you prefer. But it's got to come out. The head got to come out. That pus got to come out. And what's going on is that's what you're finding out that's happening all over the country and white people just can't handle it. Because in all fairness to you, uh, all fairness to you, white people cannot handle any conversation about race. That was told to us. We already know that um, by uh, when Robin uh, uh, told us that. What, uh, D'Angelo? White fragility. They can't handle this. They've had a world where they've never had to think about the things we've thought about. Had to deal with the things we thought thought about. It's like dealing with being in a family with a narcissist, and you've been the golden child. And now somebody has came up to you and said, "You know, you really ain't shit. I don't know how you are nothing but a lowdown thief, murder, killer, whatever." And now the whole world knows they've taken the cover off of you. It's really kind of hard to dissect that information in all fairness to white people. It's really hard to, because white supremacy has done just what it was supposed to do. It was to make you stupid and to keep us as black people stupid. Keep us unaware of our divine God-given power and putting on you um a falsehood that is really based in evil. It's based in evil. Sub subjugating, subduing, oppressing, uh, killing, 
and conquering other nations. And that is not a noble, that is not a noble characteristic for any group. Let alone one that splits up the world and thinks that they're psychotic enough to take over it. At the end of the day, God said, I got all power. So whatever power you think that you, you've been uh, wielding for this long is coming to an end. One way or another. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Glad to see it. However it turns out, I was a part of it. My father is proud. He was a part of it. My grandfather is proud. He was a part of it. And all the freedom fighters in between it, from the Shiraz to the McGee's to the uh, I, I just want to take my hats off to y'all. Y'all seeing the day that you never thought would be here. Let's bask in this day and let's be glad about it. Okay? Let's be glad about it. However it ends up, I'm glad about it. There's a story that speaks to the heart of all of it. And um, I'm probably just going to do that in a, uh, another video because it's important. It's important that we understand this. So I'll be back with another video.